am bummed. There is an SD card out there, the last SD card that I finished using. I put it somewhere, I just don't remember where. I spent like four hours today looking for it and it just doesn't want to be found. It's gonna turn up when I'm not looking for it, but I want it now. This always happens to me. Well, I went into my car and got the bag, the memory lane bag, so I can continue filming. This is all the stuff that came out of it. Let's do this. How about let's do some easy stuff. So, um, oh, I wanted to put this in a separate pile. This is a business card from Civil Alchemy, a modern general store. This store is located in St. Louis, and I actually got this business card because one day I was eating dinner, and then... I ended up talking to this couple next to me and the guy, he ran this store and he's like, hey, come over and check it out. So I did check it out the next day and I actually got another local St. Louis product from them, but it is in my bedroom. So I'm not going to even bother with that right now. Yeah, it was really cool. Uh, have I told you guys how much I love St. Louis? I, I love, love St. Louis. And we're going to end up talking about this fantasy map right here. Um, this is just like, there was an artist in 2016, he pretty much drew the iconic things about St. Louis and he drew it into this fantasy map over here. And on the back, it has a legend um, of what that icon is and then a short description of that neighborhood. So we're actually gonna take the time to read through this thing together because I love, love, love St. Louis so much. It is in my top three cities that I've loved so far on my road trip. Number one is St. Louis. <coughs> oh my gosh, I want to die. Number two is Asheville, North Carolina. And um, number three is Pittsburgh. I also have another business card and this is of Woodrow's Sandwich Shop in Philadelphia. Uh, this was when I went to Philadelphia with Enya and her boyfriend, Micah. Is this two? No. It looks like it's two. Can you see? It looks like it's two business cards in one. Anyways, they have the best Philly cheesesteak sandwich I've ever had. Yeah. Uh, I think I talked about it in the City in Review Philadelphia version. So I will link that video right here. Go check it out. I'm, I'm not gonna talk too much about it. I also just love the lettering. It's like fancy, but not too fancy. I have this found by the pound. This is a vintage store in St. Louis. I couldn't really figure it out because on the website, as usual, I will link all of these places in the description box below. So if you want to go check them out, do that. I was confused a little bit by this. I think it was like on certain days, they'll let you buy it by the pound. So I think it's like $3 per pound of clothes. Um, but then otherwise, each item is individually marked. It was a, a pretty big vintage store. It had a bunch of different stuff. Um, I would have bought something except, I don't know, like, Thrift shopping, vintage shopping by myself is just so bleh. I do it so much better when like my friend Sheena is around or my friend Becca is around. I'm much better at it. It's weird. This is a speeding ticket from Memphis. If you subscribe to my newsletters, which I will also link down below, uh, you'll know that I got a speeding ticket in Memphis, but the police officer wrote me the right, right, blah, 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 wrote me the wrong citation, which basically is he was supposed to mark number 106, but he marked me for 107. 106 is if I got a citation for number 106, I could pay online, but number 107 is I had to show up for court. So it was this whole, whole it was this whole, it was this whole ordeal where I had to call the like the traffic violations office and then they sent me to the prosecutor and then I had to call the prosecutor. She didn't pick up, left a message. She called me back and then I was like talking to somebody else but they were, they were saying, well, you know, if the police officer get, writes you the wrong citation, you know, if you show up in court, they're going to null and void 
the ticket or it's like if the police officer doesn't show up in court then the ticket is waived that i know and that is for sure um but the ticket the ticket i'm supposed to be paying is like 51 dollars. so i was trying to do the math i was like if i show up in court but don't have to pay the ticket it's going to cost me about $90, which is the transportation fee because I will be in Tampa during the time of the court date. So I'd, I would have to fly from Tampa to Memphis. But if I do have to pay the ticket, then it would be $90 plus $50. I'd be like almost $150. I'm like, is that worth it or not? I don't know. Yeah, I just, I ended up paying the ticket online. <laughs>